don't really think it's a good idea to have Apollina here. I mean, she did attend my session earlier. It might be a conflict of interest. Oh no, it's fine. I'm just gonna sit here and I'm not gonna talk. I'm just gonna watch. Apollina's a friend of mine. She'll be very respectful. Now, uh, should we begin? Shouldn't we wait for the rest of the group? So it turns out that therapists tend to not be very good about expressing their feelings. They prefer solitary reflection. And booze. Ooh. Pam here is actually our only consistent member. Well, as long as you get paid. <laughs> yes, yes I do, but I don't do it for the money. <laughs> Lord knows we don't do it for the money. Then what do you do it for? Because at the end of the day, helping other people helps me help myself. And that might seem like a selfish motivation, but if I can't help myself, then what's the point? Uh, actually, what I think Pam is trying to say is that helping people can be incredibly rewarding. What I meant is that helping other people helps me help myself. That's what I said, and that's what I meant. And the bonus that I'm able to help other people, sure, that's great too. Wow, that's great. That is great. I love helping myself. And I think I could maybe like helping people. Oh my God, you guys. <gasps> I should become a therapist. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, you shall not attend this party tonight. Carla, I am very, very, very happy to have you in my life. Understand this, but there are a few lines that you do not cross, and one of them is when I am sitting and using the toilet, because that is my me time. Please, there's nothing here that I haven't seen countless numbers of times. I've just never said anything before because nothing needed to be said, but this time, this time you are making a huge, huge mistake. I need to go to this party if I'm going to make Hunter proud, and if I'm going to make Glenda proud, and if I'm going to make this show successful, I have no choice. I am tired of giving you sage advice only to have you rebuke me. Well, then do something else with your time, I don't know. Fine, I will go. Have fun at your party, Poppet. <gasps> And then I caught him staring at me as I was changing. So, I dropped my towel, glanced down, walked into the steam room. What then? Then I had to finish business by myself because apparently he'd stolen my jock and went home. Ugh, it's tough for some guys to make that jump from fantasy into reality. That is so right, so right. <laughs> Look at that. Thunder's smiling. I think he likes us. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see how things are different, you know? Hey, you ain't seen nothing yet. Wait till the other guests get here. Hey, hey, hey. Don't you go ruin a big surprise. <sighs> Sorry, work ran late. Well, you know what that means. You're on cleanup duty. But I had a cleanup last year's party. And you were late then too. Suck it up and deal. Sorry, Hunter. Evan here is a bit of a whiner. What are you up to, Veronica? Polly, do you have any idea what time it is? Well, it's nice to see you too. Oh, I am so excited. I've decided I know what I'm gonna do with the rest of my life. Come in, come in. You gave up any option for small talk when you arrived 10 minutes later than instructed. Look who I found wandering the streets after all these many, many months. Oh, Glenda girl, you look so good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, Veronica told me you were coming, so I got a little foofy. Tell her. Tell her how furious we are with her Polly. God. Listen, girl, it is so good to see you. You remember Ham, don't you? Hamilton. <laughs> and it's a pleasure to see you again. <gasps> My magnificent little songbird. Oh, thank you. Oh, Glenda, he's just wonderful. Well, if you guys aren't together, you can always give me a call. I'm single. Just kidding. I'm not detecting very much fury, Polly. Oh, Veronica, would you just cool it? Have a seat, relax. Let's just have a good time. Please, we have so much to celebrate. Plus, we have a boyfriend. We need to pick part. Uh, well, you wanted to meet my family, right? <laughs> oh, let me get everyone something to eat. I'll be right back. Oh, yes. I'm so glad to see you. It's just been months. 
but I'm so sorry about your sister. Yeah, me too. I feel like lately all I've been doing is just talking about her over and over again. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to talk to you. Still not very furious, Polly. Gosh, it's so exciting. You know, so he was a member of the Church of Money Shots and a really good friend of Father Snuggles. And then his poor husband just passed away. Can I get anyone some stew? Ooh. Wait, isn't he the one that Angie said bait his husband? Yeah, so romantic. Yeah, no, I'm gonna pass. Thank you, though. See something you like? Don't you? Pretty boys like that, they're a dime a dozen. Right, like you wouldn't hit that. AJ's told me all about you. Man, that's how I was. That way of life gets old. That way of life? Or just you? <sighs> well, boys. Where's your contribution to this party? He's on his way. Mine too. I hope so. Yeah? Where's your guy at? Right over there. What's up, Mama Bear? You don't call me that. Only Reese calls me that. I mean, no one does. What are you doing here? Well, I was invited. I think I'm on a date. Get out. Good for you, man. Thanks. But watch the tone. Don't sound too patronizing. No, no, no. If anyone deserves any luck in the love department, it certainly is you. But, uh, what's with the outfit? It's pretty awesome, right? AJ said it was a costume party, so, you know, whoever dresses the nerdiest gets to take home a prize. As long as I get to take him home, that is all the prize I need, though. Am I right? Yeah, but I... Oh, excuse me. I see my date waving at me. You know, I knew a guy once always checking his watch. He was obsessed with knowing the time. Cool story, tell it again. I mean, I thought this guy had a weird tick or something. And it turns out he was high on coke. And checking the time was his only way of keeping in control and not going off the rails. So there's a point you're trying to make? Yeah. But uh, it's way over there, we're like right here. Okay, what I'm trying to say is, are you high on coke? No, Coke makes me sleepy. I give up. No, don't give up. Giving up is for quitters. Then I'm a quitter. Nothing worth doing is easy. Teddy Roosevelt, paraphrased. I just want to get high and forget about all this. Dennis, direct quote. You have a dream. You just have to figure out what it is. Oh. Oh, how about you tell me what it is, and then I'll, then I'll do it. That's not how I work outside of a computer operating system. That's why I'm the baby. Shit. Oh, when the hell are you going to grow up? And actually, now it's um, it's time to go. So can you help Dennis and Chaz here while I'm not here? Can I? I've been looking for a chance to prove myself. Put me in, coach. Easy there, slave boy. It's a slow night, so you're just gonna be cleaning tables and watching glassware. Good thing that's in my wheelhouse. Yeah, so uh, have fun. I'm gonna go. Where are you going anyway? Have a study day. Where are your books? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody uses books anymore. They invented a thing called the internet. God, I thought you were one of the young ones, but I guess it's only me. Hey there, how are you? Good to see ya. Oh, that's right, you don't talk. Well, can you at least give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Well, that really wasn't one of the options, but I applaud you for thinking outside the box. So, I bet you're wondering why I'm here. Ted was in a really bad mood this morning and started throwing things at me and telling me to get out. So I figured I would do what he asks and get out, right? So I thought I'd go and visit some friends, and then I realized I don't have any friends except you. So I'm here to visit you. I know, it's so good to see you. Let's sit down and hang out, new buddy. Who's, who's Daddy Chaz getting all cozy with over there? He's not a daddy, he's a mommy. I mean, he's just Chaz, but uh, he is looking kind of chummy. 
It would make a cute couple, wouldn't they? Hey, where do you put your drunks? Cool. <laughs> nice pants. Yeah, I kind of thought this was a party with an under the sea theme to it. You just can't help letting people humiliate you. It's kind of sexy. Yeah, um, thanks for that. Uh, if you'll excuse me though, I have to go and talk to somebody about what's going on. I didn't realize you were playing tonight, Ted. May have gotten yourself a real winner with that one. I don't play games anymore, at least not your kind. Yeah, well, I suppose being a fallen star isn't easy for anyone. Would explain why you become such a stick in the mud. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> So this is all just a big joke to you then, huh? It's important to laugh at yourself. I'm not <laughs> laughing. I am, and I'm playing you, so in a way, if I'm laughing at you, I'm, I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> oh, nope, sorry. <laughs> Here, don't let me stop you. You look real familiar. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you sure? I mean, I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. Nah, just a guy trying to grab a potato chip. <gasps> potato chip! That was a safe word! Oh my god, you're a Sawyer! But how are you here? You're supposed to be dead! Unless... So, I've become pretty comfortable with him being gay and all. Then the other day, I walked into the bathroom and he was... Don't look at me like that, son. You got to trim the field if you mind by playing in it. Which I guess is good. You know, old people taking care of themselves before they let themselves go and all. Man, why are you telling me this? Well, you asked me how my week has been. Right. I meant tell me who you fucked. Excuse me. Anthony? Hunter. What, what are you doing here? I told you I had a party with new friends. I told you I had a party for work. And this is what you wear to work? Yeah, I kind of thought it had a costume theme to it. I think you got a couple of wires crossed there, Ant. Hey, Gerard, watch where you're going. Gerard? You brought Gerard to the party, but not me? No, it, he just wound up here. It was a part of a coincidence. Lovers, stop your squawking and tell me what you see by the beer. Nothing. <gasps> Do you know what this means? That you've had too much to drink in an effort to impress all these guys you want to go home with? Obviously, but I saw someone there who shouldn't be there, and I know he shouldn't be there because he's supposed to be dead, and he's dead because I killed him. So there's only one possible explanation for this. I can see dead people. Hey there. Hey yourself, you ready for your study date? Yeah. Looks and smells amazing. Well, you've been doing most of the cooking when Hunter's slave ain't here. I thought I would return the favor. It's a lot of food for just the two of us. Well, I think you and I can find a way to burn off extra calories. Let me go get changed. Oh, thank you, darling. Don't worry, I didn't do much. Hunter and Anthony have one of those machines. Oh, if there's one thing I can't abide by, it's a cheap cup of coffee. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> it's so nice of you boys to invite me over for dinner. It's been a rough couple of weeks. Well, when I heard that Veronica was having Polly over, I thought this was the perfect opportunity to try out that new chicken dish I've been eyeing. Oh, so this was the first time you made that dish. Well, that explains why the bird was so dry. Mrs. Zagros, I, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that... Oh, that... oh, no, don't be silly, Father. You can't be good at everything. Well, I thought it was delicious. Oh, we're still in the honeymoon phase, are we? <laughs> well, I wouldn't lie to him. If I didn't like it, I'd tell him. I don't see any reason to hide the truth from my friends, family, and loved ones. Oh, 
you say that now. <laughs> but you just wait until schlepping on his schlong becomes old hat. And then you'll see. You need a few little lies to get you through the day together. <gasps> oh my, I am so sorry. I don't know what's come over me. I must have drank too much wine at dinner. Whew. Oh my. But um, Mrs. Agrofo, we didn't have any wine at dinner. Oh, Drake, could you be a dear, please, and go get me some water? I need to sober up. Mrs. Gromas, I do have to repeat, we didn't have any wine at dinner or anything with any alcohol in it at all. Oh, oh I'm so, so sorry, Father. I, I must still be reeling with grief. I'm sure Piper's going to be fine. She has some of the best doctors in the city looking after her. Oh, Father, if you and your lover are ever able to have children, either by convincing some adoption agency to let a child move in with you in your sinful lifestyle, or by perverting the Lord's intentions with some weird scientific stuff, I just hope that you never, ever have to experience what I have been experiencing these days. Yes. Well, one can hope. No one should have to go through what you're going through. You are so lucky to have a man. I have to go through this all by myself. Father, is it something I said? Are you all right? It's fine. I, I'm fine. Oh, I hope nothing's wrong with you and your bow. No. <laughs> no. No. No, no, no. <laughs> no. I understand. You don't feel the way you used to feel about him. I know, I have seen it all. No, that's not it at all. That I care about Drake very, very much. It's not the feelings that I'm having trouble with, at least not the ones up here. It, it's the feelings down there that I'm struggling with. Oh, I'm not sure I understand, Father. Are you saying that your penis is numb? I'm saying that he makes it numb. I'm saying that as much as I have feelings for him, I'm just not attracted to him. Oh. I've never said that to anyone before. Oh, it's all right, darling. You have to be able to be honest with yourself and with your friends. But I can never tell Drake this. Oh no, Lord no. That would be insane. It would break his little heart. You're just going to have to do what women have done throughout the ages. Fake it. All right, everyone, let's quiet down. I think it's time to get this competition started. What do you mean you're not coming? What do you mean you're staying at home to take a bath? What do you mean, what do I mean? Hey, so what's this competition AJ's talking about? Oh, you'll see. You're the judge. How can I be the judge if I don't know the rules? All right, look. Me, AJ, and Evan each invited a guy here tonight. They're gonna get called up on stage, and then you have to decide which one's the biggest loser. Oh. Man, that guy is so cool. Dude, leave me alone. You're creeping me out. I don't just see dead people. I can touch them too. You hear that, Carla? I'm gonna find out what ghost stick is like. Hey, where's Ant? Sorry? Ant, Anthony, he doesn't deserve what you guys are doing to him here. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but you could have put a stop to this at any point by telling AJ that you were married to Ant. But you didn't do that, did you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder why that is. So I want to put it all on the nerd. You sure? Trust me, he's gonna win, hands down. I'll give you good odds because I'm pretty sure you're wrong. I need you to get your coat and Carla and let's go home. Look, I'm sorry for having a good time at this party, but I need to be here, it's a work thing. No, you don't need to be here. And I don't need you to argue with me or try to dissect this or anything. I need you to trust me, go get your stuff and let's go home. 
So Ted tells me you found out about our little surprise? I'm going home. You can't go home. You're the judge. I never signed up for this. Every time we throw one of these parties, the newest member of the group is the judge. And since you're the newest member of the group, you're the judge. I don't write the rules. Oh, actually, I do write the rules. All the more reason you gotta listen. So I'm ready to go. Go? You can't go. You're the guest of honor. Uh, go away from me outside. But uh, No questions. Well, it was nice to meet you. I mean, I didn't really get a chance to meet you, but I'm sure it would have been nice. Anthony is my husband. And he doesn't deserve to be humiliated by any of you. You cannot tell me that you are married to that flabby femme. Hey, Anthony makes no apologies for who he is and never will. Well, you didn't seem too proud of him the other night. What's that all so easy to be self-righteous till someone calls you out on your shit? I don't ever want to see you in my bar again. Gerard, get your stuff, we're leaving. Don't forget the chips. Well, it looks like everybody's a loser tonight, guys. Actually, there's only one loser tonight, and that's Evan. Me? Why? Well, my guy showed, and so did Tans. But you? You got stood up by, and I use your words here, a flaming queen. What do you say, boys? Does that make Evan here the most pathetic or what? For sure. Yep. All right then, loser. Start cleaning up. What's that for? Nothing. Mm -hmm.